ready to save. It almost made itself. So, and I love, I love the sound of loops, if you know what I mean. It's like sequenced music. And I'm trying to replicate this here on the drums, uh, on the live drums. And the melody line, it's very 16th note oriented. And it's in 152. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to provide a carpet almost under the song that the song can rest on. So for me, I'm just keeping this sort of like a loop groove and I'm playing like this, two, three, four. And I guess just a little tip on how to kind of build that sort of facility to play this. I just, I would suggest for you to just sit there, play with both your hands 16th notes. And then phrase each hand. Think about what kind of rhythm do you want here? What rhythm do you want here? Mix them together so you can have any rhythm sounding like a, a loop. After that transition from the verse to the chorus, the chorus goes something like this, I'll play it for you. Three, four. Because the, the lyrics are going, Savior, he can move that, you know? It goes, Savior. So you're sort of, you're building up under what they're singing. After the second chorus, we get into an instrumental and into the bridge, which I try to make a groove that will really drive it, like, extremely forward, so that um, nobody can, you know, lay on the backside, just go hard forward. And this is how I play it. Two, three, four... The way I played the groove on that bridge was just pushing it as, you know, being on top of the beat as much as I could. And there's a simpler way to do it instead of having your legs going hyperactive, basically. Um, instead of playing it like this. You're free to simplify to just play this. Sort of four on the floor. Having my left foot doing the um, eight notes gives me more subdivisions to, to keep the time in. And basically, instead of having just quarter notes, I can have eight notes. And it gives less space for error, in a sense. And the way to train that up is just to sit, take slow grooves. And just lots of variations of that. Thank you for joining us. Don't be afraid of asking questions. Just email us, and um, we'll try to answer you. And um, go hard and be blessed.